Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.22 and Heat Blur Simulations F4E Phantom Module. Welcome to Tutorial 5, Air Combat Maneuvering Modes with Jester. Uh, the Air Combat Maneuvering Modes can be thought of as like the dogfight mode or close combat modes that you have in other more modern radars. Uh, and this is the AN-APG-120 fire control radar in the Phantom. So uh, in ACM we actually have two different radar modes that we can employ. Uh, we have Boresight, which of course will do a, a small cone pretty much directly on the, uh, on the gun sight. And you then have CAA, which is Computer Automatic Acquisition Mode. And this does a 78 degree vertical scan. Five, sorry, 15 degrees wide and three bars high. Um, that said, it will only lock a target 45 degrees up uh, maximally, although it can display targets up to 78 degrees up. Uh, in CAA, or Computer Automatic Acquisition, the, the lock will happen automatically. In Boresight mode, you have to tell Jester that you want to engage a target or lock a target in effect. So because of this, uh, you know, today we're going to be flying with Jester in the Wizzo seat, we're not going to be multi-crewing, so there's a couple of keyboard commands that we need in order to talk to Jester. Uh, the main one is the A key, and a, a short press of A will display the Jester menu, menu sorry, and a long press of A will hide it again. And then we have something called the uh, is the context, the Jester context menu. By default that's the V key, and it has options for single press, uh, double taps, and long presses. So we'll be we'll be dealing with that as well. So in order to get set up, we want to make sure the radar is actually on. Uh, so we can go into the gesture menu and choose radar, and choose operation, and make sure that we select active. Uh, now, in this case, the radar was in fact already on. And uh, we also, we have our radar display here, the DSG. Uh, that's controlled with a switch all the way down here Behind the stick, it can be off, uh, it can be in TV mode, which will give you output either from a Maverick or from the targeting pod, uh, or you can have it all the way up in radar mode. And of course, in our case, we have to have it in radar mode. Uh, gun sight, you could use a variety of different modes for the gun sight, but for um, air to air, it is recommended that you have it in air to air mode. And uh, in addition, I'm going to actually use my pinky weapon select switch. Uh, to make sure that we have heaters enabled. You can actually barely see that in this lighting right now. But the heat light is actually on. If I push it to the left, I get gun. So I'm going to have it in heat. That will give us a uh, allowable steering error, which will match uh, kind of use for the missile. Uh, the other button we're going to use is in the pilot seat. We want to be able to press the cage button. And uh, pressing cage button once will actually put the radar into... Uh, bore sight mode. And bore sight mode is a five degrees um, scan, five nautical miles maximum, and maneuvering mode is put into high automatically. So we're in bore sight just now, and you can see the symbology down here. Uh, you can see the, the radar strobe, you can see our radar cursor, it just sits in the middle by default, and our current range, five nautical miles. You can also see the radar's current elevation here as well, it's fixed to the horizon in this mode. Now, if we want to go into Computer Automatic Acquisition, or CAA, we can tap nose wheel steering. And you can see now that the elevation is bouncing up and down. We're getting returns, of course, whenever it's pointing at the ground. So that's why we're getting these strobes here. And you can see uh, where it's scanning. It's kind of bumping left, center, and right here. Now, I can push uh, my weapon's pinky switch to the left, and it will actually do a scan more to the left. I can push it to the right and it will jump back to the center and I can push it to the right again and you'll see that it'll do a, a search biased to the right. So you can have searches biased at left, center and right when you're in CAA. Of course, in boresight mode, it's, it's only going to scan down the middle, hence boresight mode. Now, if you want to exit this mode, you can tell Jester that you would like to exit the mode. Alternatively, on your weapon selector switch, you can go into B and out again, and that will reset the system. 
uh, and that's the, the easiest way of getting back out of it. Now, like I said, in Boresight mode, we need to ask Jester to do a lock, and we can do that with the context sensitive button, the default V, by doing a long press. That will tell Jester that we want to lock. We can do a long press of V again to break the lock. In the case of CAA, lock is automatic. We can break lock by tapping nose wheel steering again, and that will put us back into search. So, uh, with all of the uh, the kind of setup done, let's go ahead and employ this. I'm going to get set up with some targets ahead of us, and then I'll come right back. Okay, you rejoin us. Uh, we're inbound some enemy targets, and we are going to have a go at locking them up. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the cage switch, and I'm going to first demonstrate the bore sight mode. Let's get zoomed in on the... Uh, the gun sight glass and the radar display here. Let's confirm where we have these targets. Yeah, they're pretty much on the nose. And there we are, we have them visual. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the, the gun sight pretty much on target, and then we're gonna long press the jester context button. We didn't get a lock there. Nah, they must still be too far out. Let's get a bit closer in. And, oh, and there we go. We just got a lock there. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly pause just now. Uh, the reticle is now going to display range. We're actually, we have guns selected right now, so it's going to display range for the guns. If I zoom in a little bit here, we can see our radar return and the cursor is around it. We have a steering dot, which is for intercept, and we have an allowable steering error circle. If we had a missile selected, which I'll do in just a moment, this would expand and contract based on the, the limits of the missile. Current range is five nautical miles, and by default, the closure rate is displayed here in the digital display. We're currently closing at approximately 630 knots. Now, something to note, you can tap the Jester context button, which is by default the V key, to go through different modes of the aspect switch. The aspect switch is in the back cockpit, so we need to ask Jester to do it for us. And it has positions for wide, nose, forward, aft, and tail. And in this mode, in Boresight mode, those different positions don't actually change the aspect mode, which would normally be for the Sparrow, I believe. Uh, it, it changes what's displayed in this digital readout. So by default, it's closure rate. If we tell him to change it once, it will go into the nose aspect position, which will display altitude. If we tell him to change it again, it will go into the forward aspect, and that will display aspect. Uh, we tell him again, it'll go into aft aspect, and that will display closure rate again. And if we tell him to change again, it'll go into tail mode, and that displays heading. One more change and it'll go back into closure. Honestly, this is all, in my opinion, for a dogfight mode, far too complex and will probably take too long. Uh, so I would recommend you generally just leave this in closure. Uh, but for fun, we'll, we'll, we'll demonstrate it here just now. So I'm going to tap short on it once. There you go. You see it changed. This is now altitude. Tap again. We now have aspect. Tap again. We now have closure rate again tap again. It's now displaying heading. Uh, why any of this would be important, I don't know. going to tap it one more time and get the closure rate, which is almost certainly what you actually want. So, in any case, that's the bore sight mode. Nice and simple. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and tap the nose wheel steering button. And we're now in CAA, and we should get a lock in CAA mode pretty quickly here. There we go, we just picked up the lock. Uh, and apart from that, all of the symbology is basically the same again. Yeah, I'm, I'm letting this uh, target get away from me a little bit. If I tap nose wheel steering, I actually break the lock and go back into search. Uh, and I, you know, we picked up that target again pretty quick. Um, so pretty, pretty simple. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and push my weapon select switch to the right once. And we now have the heater selected. You can see that the range information on the gun sight changed and the allowable steering error uh, expanded. Um, and it, yeah, if I wanted to make a shot here, I'd just try and put the steering dot in the circle. Uh, and if I was in range, I could fire. We're not gonna cover weapons employment today. We are just covering uh, how these modes work. So those are our two, in effect, dogfight modes. We have Boresight and we have CAA. And as I said, I can actually go into B mode and out, and that will do, or at least that should do, a full reset. Um, it actually, it seems to have reset it, but retained the lock. So uh, depending on 
you know, circumstances that will change. Oh, there we go. It's actually dropped the lock now and we're completely back to normal. So that's fantastic. Uh, let's go back into bore sight mode. I'm going to tap my cage button and we're now in bore sight one more time. Let's actually figure out where these targets are. They're off to our left now. So let's see if we can come around and regain them. Yep, there we go. Eyes on. So I'm going to close in this guy, close in on this guy a little bit. I'm going to long press the context button with Jester, and I've got a lock. And um, we can actually long press that again, and that tells him to break the lock, although we, we regained it again pretty quick. Oh no, no, that's us, we're out. Uh, that's us out of the lock. So that's another thing to, to take note of. You can, when you're in the bore sight mode, you can long press the Jester um, button, the context sensitive button again, and break that lock. And as before, into B and out of B mode puts us back into search. And now the radar is completely normal again. So that's uh, that's everything that you can do with the ACM modes when flying with Jester. Of course, the procedure will be a little bit different if you have a human whistle. But uh, I hope you'll enjoyed that. Fly safe, and I'll see you next time.